we're going to start by looking at question number one and go through some of these NCLEX questions so I can give you some tips and tricks on how to answer it. Remember, your NCLEX questions are going to have a nurse, a client, and then a disease process or the content. Most often it's a disease process and how is that nurse going to care for that patient? Could be a medication and again, how is that nurse going to provide safety to this patient when you're administering that medication? We have several different types of questions. This one is a select all that apply. I have some tips and tricks with this is ask, re-ask yourself the question. So let's kind of go through it. Let's answer it and we'll talk through why some answers are correct or incorrect. So a nurse is providing discharge instructions to a client with systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. Which of the following instructions should the nurse include? Select all that apply. So ask yourself, should we include avoiding exposure to sunlight and use sunscreen with an SPF of 50. Well, if we think about what is lupus erythematosus, it's an inflammatory disease of the autoimmune system. So back with signs and symptoms, extreme heat and extreme cold can exacerbate and flare up symptoms. So we definitely want them to ex avoid exposure to the sunlight and put that sunscreen on even if they're walking to the car. Engage in regular exercise such as walking or swimming as tolerated. Absolutely, because that just promotes good health overall. Do we want them to increase intake of high protein foods to boost energy levels? Well, we probably want their energy levels to be boosted, but high protein foods isn't going to necessarily do that. And because this is an autoimmune inflammatory process, there are no real foods or food restrictions. What we do want them to maintain is a balanced diet. So we're not going to choose that one because that's not the best answer choice. Do we want them to monitor for and report any fever or chills? Absolutely. Because again, remember, this is an autoimmune disorder and these patients are already at risk for getting infections. So we want them to be on top of it, report it so that we can treat it. We might also educate them to stay away from crowds or wear a mask out in public. And then discontinue medications if you experience any side effects. Well, we all know every medication is going to give a side effect. We can educate them on those side effects, but we definitely don't want them to discontinue their medications because then that's going to be harmful for them. So let's submit. And there you go. You see your rationales. 